Uh, hello everyone and uh, welcome back. So in this video I'm going to show you how to work with uh, zip files. So uh, your application can create new zip files and fi add files inside them or uh, it can uh, read existing zip files and uh, extract uh, uh, files from them. So let's demonstrate. Uh, first I'm going to show you how to create a zip file and uh, add files uh, in it. Uh, in order to show that I will need to choose some files and their file names I'm going to display in this uh, list box here so I'm going to add a button that will say add I'm going to uh, add open dialog okay open dialog filter all files uh, okay I will. I have already prepared some files uh, for testing. These are the free images, and I will say that's initial directory and open dialog. I will say allow multi select. Okay, so once I click this button, uh, this dialog should appear, and all selected files should be uh, displayed in this list box. So let's do that. Uh, if open dialog one execute so pretty much I'm asking if uh, user didn't click open meaning he clicked cancel if that happened then nothing's to be done simply return okay if he uh, clicked uh, if he uh, selected some files and clicked open then I need to add those files inside the list box So I don't know how many files are there, so I'm using count. And now I will simply say on oh, this box one. Items add. I need to add uh, files from inside uh, open dialog. Strings. Strings contain uh, contains all selected files, but I need them one by one. So let's see. Add selecting three files, and voila, they are here in this list box. So that's the first part. Uh, I've chosen files, and now I want to compress them inside the zip file. Uh, first I need to specify some uh, zip file uh, you can use a save dialog for example but okay let's say save dialog file name let's say it's called my zip uh, default extension zip initial directory so test dialog my zip dot zip okay so once I click compress, uh, this dialog should appear and ask me uh, what is going to be the name of my zip. And by default, it's going to be my zip zip. And inside that zip should be uh, all these selected files, all these uh, files that I've uh, selected in open dialog compressed. So what to do here? Uh, in order to compress files, first I need to include a header that is called system.zip. Okay, once I have that header, uh, I have uh, one class that I'm going to show, but first I'm going to say if save uh, dialog execute, pretty much the same thing as in open dialog. So, if I selected a file name for a zip, then I need to create a zip and add all these files that are here 
inside that zip. So uh, once I've included this header here, I'm allowed to create a class that is called zip file. So I'm call I'm creating an object called zip. You can always use smart pointers, uh, but I'm not going to waste time including memory and so on. Uh, I've created an object that represents a zip file. Now I need to create a physical file. Open. So I need to specify what is going to be the name of the zip file that I'm creating. And that name is selected inside the save one dialog. File name uh, for writing. So because I'm creating a new zip file. And once I've done that, uh, at the end I will need to close. Okay, but before closing, I need to add all these files that are uh, specified in this list box to this zip file. How to do that? Well, I need to go through each uh, of the list box items. simply say zip add. So add is the method that will allow you to add some file to a zip file. So uh, he can ask you, uh, he will ask you what is the file name that you are going to add to a zip file. Do you want to have some other uh, name for that file inside an archive? And what is the compression for that file? Uh, in fact, you only need to specify uh, what is the input file name and the rest can be used uh, uh, by default. So I'm adding files that are inside this uh, list box one. List box one items. Uh, strings. So strings contains all uh, files that are inside list box, but I want only uh, Well, I want them one by one. Okay, so let's see. Add, adding three files, compress. Okay, I want it to be called my zip.zip. And while voilà, I have my zip.zip, I open it. And now you can see my three files are here. So let's see, and this is 186 megabyte and this is 118, so it's, it's really compressed. Okay, and uh, that is how you can create a new zip file and add files inside it. So it's pretty easy. Uh, all you need to do is to use this class and in order to use that class you need to add this header. Okay. So uh, that's, like I said, really easy and now let's see uh, what to do when you have an existing zip file, such as this one. I want to see what's inside it and how to extract it. Well, I'll add another list box, list box 2, I'll just say open. Uh, I'm not going to use uh, open dialog again. I'll simply use this zip file uh, straight away to save time. So I'm going to copy paste this code and I will say I open uh, my zip dot zip so that is the archive I'm opening and I'm opening it for a reading okay so I'm reading this archive and what I want is to show the files that are inside that archive I want to show them inside this list box so for integer e uh, zip file count so file count uh, will tell me how many files are inside that zip and now I need to uh, add all these file names inside the list box add 
zip uh, file file names okay let's see okay so our application should open this zip file and see uh, these three files and add their names here and voila it works so let's see if we want to uh, extract some of these files Okay, in order to extract, I'm going to copy paste again, read, I can simply say uh, zip extract, so uh, you already have method extract a single file, extract all files or extract uh, some other external uh, uh, zip file, but I'm going to extract uh, the file that I've selected here and that file is listbox2 items strings uh, listbox item index ok what is the part that I'm going to use to extract it well, let's say this folder, I'm going to create another subfolder. Um, unzip, for example. And create subdirectories, yes. Okay, let's see. I open uh, the zip file. I see its content. Okay, and now let's say I want to extract please bitmap. Okay, I have it here. As you can see, I've extracted uh, this bitmap from a zip file. Now I want to extract this one. Voila, and this one. So pretty much I extracted all files uh, from my zip file. And that's pretty much how it's done. As you can see, it's really not uh, anything hard. Uh, you just need to use this class and the methods that are uh, provided in that class. And it's uh, all just, uh, well, child's play if, if, if you uh, just try it a few times. And uh, what's, what's uh, interesting, this can be really useful. Uh, I did some applications uh, that uh, uh, required reading from a zip file and as you can see uh, pretty much all you need to do is to create a uh, zip file object and all methods are there ready to, uh, to be used. Uh, okay guys I hope this will be useful to you uh, and it will open some uh, new possibilities in your applications and like always if you have any questions, comments and ideas for uh, new videos, uh, please let me know. Thank you for watching and uh, see you later.